a church that says the drinking bleach is a miracle cure continues to do damage. Genesis this is, uh, 2 this is Church of when, Health and Healing and has been telling members to drink bleach to cure everything from cancer to HIV to Ebola. Oh, okay. Like ABC News paid to, to uh, attend a seminar hosted by church founder Jim Humble and exposed the place in 2016, but the church still exists. Even the Department of Justice has gotten involved with this scheme, finding a man guilty of selling industrial bleach as a miracle cure for numerous diseases and illnesses. You see, this is this is an area where uh, religion and quackery overlap, and it happens a lot. Uh, we've actually seen it in the first story. No, so, and, okay, let, let's, just, let's, yeah. let's just reflect on this for a second. Yeah. They're giving bleach to, bleach to babies. Like there's a baby. <laughs> like somebody. This was supposed to be stopped. This is apparently this is a famous church that did this for a while now, but they apparently stopped it. But somebody went in to check if they stopped it, and they took a picture of them getting a baby to drink bleach. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait. What is this? How is ordinary? It's so. Such bad advice. Honestly, you? like, I, I could not believe, like, this is something that you hear and you think, like, yeah, religions are so bad, you might, like, they might as well give, mm, you know, this seems like something you would just say to, as a metaphor to how bad religion is. Like, yeah. as every time you think, like, you know, maybe sometimes we have to be careful not to exaggerate the cost of religion and this mm -hmm. kind of, like, uh, thinking. But then you hear in a story like this, they're they're drinking bleach like <laughs> like like seriously how far but how how are they getting this out this is a church right it's called genesis yeah. two genesis church, two, of, church of healing and health oh my god they actually named themselves uh, they call themselves church of healing health and healing <laughs> genesis two church of health and healing and they're making babies drink bleach but why is this not like why is it like why are they not all arrested like <laughs> why is it like i looked into this i like okay so was there like a raid like was the fbi showed up like did the whole police showed up and arrested everybody i like no they just were talking about it like when 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 people were eating tide pods this was like talked about everywhere and i was like why is this not like the number one trending news like that right now i think when religion does it people are like ah well it's religion you know, but yeah. it's a it's a baby. Like, come on, like, oh, yeah, it's religion. But the kid there is is not has, is not religious yet. Like, come on, people. Like, why is this not a bigger deal right now? Why is it not? Why is there not a whole bunch of police arresting every fucking person in this church right now? And how are they yeah. getting this from the Bible? Like, I don't understand. Like, how is this? Do you know what they're saying? Like, is there any so-called logic? Like, is there any argument that they have for this? I don't understand. I, I don't think bleach was already invented when the Bible was written. I think this is their own <laughs> interpretation of things. Of what? Like interpretation of what? Something. <laughs> but why bleach? <laughs> like, I think they, they, they just think, well, what works for the toilet must work for the body or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Beach is Beach be is mentioning going on here. Beach is mentioning in the live chat that this bleach drink this bleach drinking didn't start with religion. Some woo nuts on the internet did it, but okay, mm. that's so exactly because um, you would expect that. Like this whole anti-vaccine movement also wasn't started. This is a problem with religion, right? It's just a, it's just a, it's just a sponge for all the worst ideas, right? So I, bad ideas come. And religion just uh, just sticks to them and just makes them stay, right? It makes them stickier yes. and makes them harder to get rid of, right? So yeah, people yeah. say like, "Hey, vaccine caused autism," and then religion, churches and you know mosques hear that and like, yeah. And I think we have theological arguments for why that's so, and that makes it so. Religion, when they say religion poisons everything, they don't mean that religion is. Sometimes it's not the source of these bad ideas. It just mm -hmm. makes these bad ideas so much harder to get rid of, right? Yes. It makes it so much because more complicated to fight against them. Because, yeah. again, if this was kids with YouTube videos eating Tide Pods, this would be something that it would be an international emergency and people would be talking about it and fighting it. But when, when a church does it, it's just not reacted to... Same thing with vaccines, right? So when they want to... 
enforce vaccine rules on on parents, they come up with religious exemptions. Again, yeah. coming up with double standards for people with religion. This is why religion, it's, even if it's not the source of a bad idea, it's just a sponge that makes it stay. Yes, exactly. So this is like I'm a skeptic. I'm skeptical of anything that causes uh, harm. But religion usually is is the worst one because it 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 adopts old bad thinking from other kinds of uh, bad things. So conspiracy theories, quackery, right? Uh, uh, all all sorts of paranormal stuff. They they all adopt that. And but within within the within the field of of religion, it gets extra protection because re religion has privileged protection within right. Well, basically just... all societies and. Um, and when it when it's part of a religion, it becomes harder to criticize because then you're blasphemous or you're you're attacking someone's freedom of of religion or whatever. Right. And that that makes religion the basically the worst the worst force of of, of bad thinking in 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 the world. It's, it's a word, it's a it's a license for bad ideas because yes. okay. So so Kaka is also pointing out you can't blame Christianity. If some pastor is feeding them bleach, there is no biblical justification for it. And actually, I agree with you because there is nothing yeah. in the Bible that supports this. But the problem with uh, not just not Christianity, the, the, here the problem is just with the name religion, right? With the, just a branding yeah. of religion, right? So one problem with the branding of religion is not is goes beyond just what they have in their books because. Again, there's nothing in Christianity that supports this. There's no, uh, nothing biblical that you could use to say like, yeah, give people bleach and it will cure them, right? So you could, yeah. then if you say that, then you can say, like, well, then why are you blaming this on Christianity? The, the reason why you could still somewhat blame this on religion as a whole is because the branding of religion is used as protection for bad ideas. Even yeah. without the scripture, the, the scripture itself causes a lot of problem but just because people could just put a stamp religion on something and all of a sudden it shields a, a whole um, you know a set of ideas um, from from the same level of they still get attacked and crit criticized but not the same level if they weren't a religion right yes. and that level of protection that le religion has to offer you is another harm that religion uh, provi uh, provides to society beyond whatever they're teaching in their scripture but go on yes yeah i would like to make a point about uh, vaccination in particular um for example uh, in the netherlands there's a, there's a certain conservative protestants who refuse to vaccinate uh, the majority of them do but a minority doesn't based on a, on their own uh, interpretation of the Heidelberg uh, Catechism, which which says that uh, everything is according to God's plan, and you can't go against God's plan. And they think that vaccination is preventing someone that something that God planned, may, uh, namely getting you sick. If your if your child uh, uh, gets ill, then that's part of God's plan. And Right. By vaccinating them, you you're you're like infringing on God's plan. <laughs> but you can you can play this <laughs> as game. if God wouldn't be powerful enough to still make your child ill. Like if God is no, uh, or or all. actually the 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 counter argument to that be like no, you're stopping God's plan because God planned for these kids to be vaccinated, and now yeah. you're stopping them from getting vaccinated, even though that was originally <laughs> part of God's plan. So you're stopping yeah. God's plan. Okay. The, the, yeah, there's actually uh, I I know. Uh, uh, um, but then they can. Scientist Scientist who is a Christian who who, who in, uh, actually develops uh, vaccines and he says, well, God just gave us instructions to develop uh, <laughs> vaccines, so we're yeah. actually following God's plan. We're not contradicting it. Right. So yeah, there, you can also tell them like, I'm going to punch you in the face right now, and if you just <laughs> stop my hand, if you if you defend yourself, you're stopping God's plan because my fist is God's plan. Anyway, Soraya is saying, did anyone reported a case? Which may have caused any, uh, any baby's internal organs spoiled. I don't know who reported it. Be just saying, supposed to cure autism originally, and the stupid uh, idea has grown. Why bleach from all the things? Okay. Uh, uh, Monica is saying, wait, where did Monica's comment go? Believers are already conditioned to believe cure all or easy fix solutions. Oh, that's a very good point. So, of course, they find this easy to believe. Uh, 
easy to believe God wouldn't give you something so complex as medicine. Yeah, actually, you're right, Monica. The mental uh, conditioning is also another problem which, you know, um, prepares your mind for believing some other form of bullshit. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.